Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. I'm John P. We are packing up all our gear for the CE Line shows. And heading to New York. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by... Drumbo! All right, so guys, as you know, every year, John P. and the boys take a road trip to New York to pack the... We, they, we take up the entire set. Well, not this set. Not but this set. A different set, a portable set. That's right. We have, a, we have a set that's just for it. But what we do have to do is go through all of our ridiculous amounts of gear to take just a boatload of stuff with us. Yeah, so we have like a 12-foot trailer that we pack up. The, let's start with the most important thing that goes in the trailer and the truck. My blue microphone? Norm. Oh, Norm. Oh, snacks. Actually, no. I was going for the snacks. Oh. Snacks. That is true. And the, and the water, and the, actually water, I don't know why you take water, because none of you drink water. No, I'm not going to drink water, <laughs> but I asked Norm and Ken what they wanted to drink. They said water. Okay. So I got plenty of water, and then I got Dr. Pepper. Yes. 7-Up. Yes, and, and Sunkiss. I got orange just to kind of... Mix it up a little. Just to mix it up a little. Okay. I mean, you never well, you know. Gotta you might have, have one of those orange crush kind of days. I just might be in the mood for and it. And you've got some Pringles. Those look good. No, wait. Now, we have the Pringles that has the original sour cream and Ooh. onion and cheddar cheese. All in one? Or? And then we also got oh my. the barbecue pizza <laughs> And cheddar cheese. So All we're right, going to have so a variety. You have to have a variety of chips for the road. Of course you do, plus beef jerky. But that's enough about beef the snacks. Beef jerky. No, you can never have enough about the <laughs> snacks. Listen, this is my pro tip for you guys. Okay, this is great value. Walmart brand beef jerky. Get the sweet and hot. Best beef jerky ever. And it comes from Walmart. I'm telling you, do it. <laughs> So let's move on to the actual gear because candy. I know that's what you want to see. Of course you have candy, John P. You're holding a mic in your hands. Yeah, this is a blue mic. It's, it's a Model 100. And, uh, you know, we normally use RE50 interview mics uh -huh. like this. But uh, our friend Hillary... Wait, RE50 or RE20? No, the RE50s, okay. aren't they? Just making sure. RE50s. Keeping you on your toes. And uh, she sent us this to try it out. So we're going to... Put our little wireless thing, and I'm going to try nice. and interview some people the because it's a the blue and it's flashy. Putting the butt plug in it. Oh my God! <laughs> All right, He's got so to bleep that out. We, <laughs> that is actually a technical gear term. Okay. Um, we have over here all our cameras. We're using the Vixias, like we always do, correct? Yes, we're going to use the Vixias. Now these are going to be used. This is what's being used on the set. Now remember. When we're on our way there, we're going to use different cameras. We'll get let's, to those in a minute. Let's actually, well, okay, we'll talk about the road trip and the videos that you guys will get. So this is the set stuff. Yeah. We, we use the Vixia cameras. We got four of those. Are we using the Logitech? That's in case we want to do a hangout. Okay. If we want to do a hangout on Google Plus while we're live, we'll do that. We have the, uh, uh, what do you call them? The tally lights. Tally lights here. So these are the red lights that go above the cameras to let us know that that camera is live is hot so that we can look directly into the camera. HDMI to SDI converters. These allow us to take the output from these little camcorders and feed it into the big TriCaster. Now we've also this got... This is a fancy new device we got. This is... Do you even know what this does? Uh, it's it makes sort of some cool. sort. It's brilliant. And it does more than mixing, I believe. So but what, Ken just got it. Yeah, Ken just got this from the guys at Jam Hub. And what this allows us to do is it will allow us to feed audio into it and have up to six different people who can choose individually what they want to be listening to. So like if we were on set and Callie didn't want to hear me, but she wanted to hear everybody else, she could just turn me down. Yes. Yeah. So very excited. We got my, we got headphones. We've got all these little countryman microphones. We got lots of microphones. Well, for for the people who don't know what a countryman microphone, they go over your ears. This goes over your ear, and this goes right down by your mouth, so that you get close sound. That's right, and it rejects everything that's away from you. But these are not countrymen. These are piles. Oh, yeah, those piles. are cheap imitations. <laughs> okay, we have a TriCaster in here. Okay, but which this, one? Back up. This is the three hundred. 350. Or 350. Um, it's HD and all that, but this is our backup TriCaster Not only if primary. something bad happened to the primary. We are taking our desk. 
Our table. This desk actually John made. I did make hand. it. I did make it. Callie put a big gouge in it. That's I right. did not do that. I don't know who did it. I saw you with the screwdriver. <laughs> we, it's made so that the legs can be disassembled. So we'll take the legs off. We'll pack it up. We'll carry it out there. Put the legs on. Go. We're not taking the TV remote. No. But we are taking this. Big yes, we are. The big TriCaster control surface yes. for the big TriCaster. We're going to be taking the 360 Hero 360 degree panoramic video maker. That is and we're all gonna, plugged in and ready it, to go. And look, you see it's we're all charging. Is that what we're going? We're we doing? have this seven port USB <laughs> charger. Awesome. That plugs into the wall. We have to take that because we're taking seven GoPros and we want to be able to charge them all the time. So we're going to shoot some really cool stuff with this. You guys keep an eye out for it. We're also taking lots and lots of memory cards. We have a bunch of these 64 gig SD micro cards that we will use in all these heroes. Now these are super important cases. These are Pelican cases to hold your SD cards. If you travel with any more than one SD card, get these because they keep them safe. They yeah. keep them in one place. You Waterproof, don't lose them. Waterproof, dust proof, everything proof. We'll be taking our Drobo Mini. Indeed we will be because we have to keep our data safe. All the stuff that we're shooting both on the road and in New York is precious. We can't redo any of it, so we keep it on the Drobo Mini to make sure it's backed up, redundant, and if a hard drive fails, no biggie. That's right. Get you a Drobo Mini if you don't have one, especially if you travel around and do junk like this. We've got all sorts of... Look at all these cables! Yeah, it takes a lot of cables to make this happen, so there are Power. buckets. This is like Ethernet, HDMI... SDIs. Uh, SDI... Uh, there's a... Uh, uh, what do you call it? My XLRs. Cable. There's a whole lot of cables. We got a lot of power cables and extensions, extensions, etc. And then over here, cages Ow. and arms. Way to go! These arms are like these that are mounted right here. See this arm that's mounted on the truss? That's that's how we mount the cameras that we'll be using. And we have these power strips over here, which we actually route on our travel truss system, yeah. so that we can keep things plugged in and organized as opposed to just falling and hitting people on the head. Minimize the cables. What's in here? And nothing. Yet. A dro oh. Drobo thing. Oh, okay. Oh, a light. No, oh, that's a light. There's more we're lights. We're, we're using take... Drobo shirts to pack. That's right. That... That's why, why not? <laughs> why, who, we're, who doesn't? We're committed. Who doesn't? Well, so we take all these LED lights. Um, these are the components that go with this other tri uh, backup TriCaster. And then uh, we got some microphones and stuff. Come over here. We have two new monitors. We haven't even unboxed them yeah. yet. But we're going to take these two monitors. And the main reason why we bought two new monitors was because we didn't have a box to pack our other monitors in. So we had so to we buy these just so because we need ones. to we need to pack things securely. Oh, over here behind you, Dave, is our rug. <laughs> now that's a cigar. <laughs> We did not have a rug last year for CE line shows. Yet we have these um, chairs, chairs that we that John and I and the guests sit on. But the problem is they roll, and that's not good for the focus on the cameras. Apparently, well, so. they it's <laughs> they roll, but it's okay when they're on carpet. Yeah. But what we found was the floors there are hard. And I mean, these things roll well. Yeah. It's like a, it's like <laughs> a gym floor. Yeah. yeah, it's like a gym floor. You stand up and you go like this, and the chair goes. I mean, it's gone. You yeah. know, it's so, in a booth somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> so we got the carpet, the rug, so that we won't the the chairs won't roll away from us. Now, the, let's move on from the studio setup where the the set that we'll have at the line shows in New York. Which, by the way, you guys make sure you're paying attention to and joining us live the 26th, the 27th at geekbeat.tv slash live. We'll be going all day long, both days. But before we get there, John and the boys, like I said, are going to be traveling and doing video along the way. Now, last year and the year before, they stopped at some pretty crazy places, and we've got some good stuff coming up for you this year as well. And we went to Graceland, baby. Don't forget it. <laughs> A private tour, hey. Yeah, over here but we got... So we got stuff over here that we're taking. Um, Norm, it's okay if you want to get on the camera. Good God. Hey, and Trace. Trace joined Everybody us say last hi to year. Trace. Hey, guys. <laughs> From D News. So we're taking the big think tank rolling bag, and it's loaded up. We've got two 5D Mark III's in here. We've got some lenses. We have a juice link so that we can hook up up to four microphones into a single uh, camera. We've got... 
uh, all kinds of well, stuff. Well, you're putting Lenses. your 1DX in there. Yeah, well, the 1D is going to be in my backpack. I'll carry that. We got more lenses. We're taking tripods. We're taking monopods with fluid heads. We are also taking the Red Rock Micro Cobalt Cage. That is supposed to be a really secure cage. Oh, not right? supposed to be. It is. Wait till you see what we're going to do with this. Keep an eye out. You'll see in a couple of days. Um, it's got a mount. It's got arms. We're going to be mounting that on the truck. We're taking the, what's this called? An iPod? That is an iPod, iPod Touch. touch. Because it's filled with a nice selection of music for the road. Nice. Who? Wait. Who chose the music? John. I did. Uh, it's all gonna be. Sorry, Ken and Norm. Yeah. Country, be... country and restroom. We're taking this, which is the uh, helmet for the the GoPro Hero. Hero 360 thing that you saw over there, the blue thing. Mm-hmm. Oops. Ah, that was a little don't loose. Hurt yourself. We're taking the Edelkrone rig. Now this is gonna let us mount a 5D up here. A monitor here, lights. This is a focus ring right here. You see how when I move my thumb, it focuses up there. So we'll take this. This will be really good for when the guys have to follow me around while we're nice. doing junk. We have all the uh, necessary items like white balance cards, reflectors. Yeah. Uh, we have Straps. a quick pod. Make sure that if John wants to do a video by himself, he can. He can Don't do forget it this. Himself. Oh, I hate that thing. What else? Look what's back! Oh, the DJI Phantom! The DJI Phantom is back, it is working, and we have, like, how many batteries? Nine batteries for it. We're gonna be flying this thing all the way from here to freaking New York, practically. Uh, no, you're not. Okay, maybe not. I don't think that's But possible. we're gonna do a lot of flying with it. And so, what's in here? The Atmos? Uh, uh that's, that's, a that's Ninja the Ninja uh, 2 Ninja. recorder. What is that for everyone who doesn't know? I can't even get it open! Here. <laughs> what did you do? That'd be smarter than the box. So what this does is we can mount this like here on the Edelkrone and it will serve as a monitor, but also it will allow us to take the video output from the 5D Mark III's and capture it in a format that's already ready for editing in Final Cut, so you don't have to do all this uh, transcoding, which you would normally have to do. So that should speed up the workflow because we're going to be editing these things and taking them, uh, 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 posting them while we're on the road. What do we have in here? Nothing. So I think that's about. Wait, no, it. we have one other thing, Ken. How, how about this? Oh, we have lots of other things. This. Oh, we're taking this. That's right. This is the big broadcast system that Ken built for us. Okay. This is actually all the stuff that was over here. Yeah. At our broadcast booth. All conveniently in one shock-mounted case. This thing is pace. amazing. It now, is. Obviously, this packs onto the top, and it's just completely portable. And that actually turns into a table for this me. This is a tabletop yes. that sticks out right here. But come look at what's in here. First of all, we got the Big Daddy TriCaster now, down here. This is our here. primary TriCaster. This will handle up to eight different cameras and all kinds of stuff. Now, then we have a compressor limiter. That way, when Callie and I get really loud, uh, who's okay, when loud? I get really loud, it keeps it from peaking. Then we've got this smart video hub. This allows us to take any camera input and and basically send it to any camera, any output in the system. So don't ask me why we need to do that, that's complex. We also have four Mac Minis mounted right here, and we call this little piece Skypezilla, because it lets us bring in four different Skype callers if we want to into the system. And we did it yesterday and it worked beautifully. It did. Yeah. We have our little drawer here with the keyboard and mouse. Which is a very nice touch, I like that. Yeah, we have a KVM switch, yeah. which allows these to work for any of this stuff. So you only yeah. need one keyboard and mouse for that. Then we got our big mixer. This is an Alesis Multi-Mixer 12R. And then we have a couple of uh, little black magic monitors. And then we'll take a big monitor and that's it. But there's one other thing. I don't see what it. Else? Ken, what, where's the Terra deck? I missed it. We missed it. Oh, there we We have go. a special, special device. Oh, here it is. That our friends from Terra Deck sent us, okay? So this little bad boy 
will allow us to take, it's called the bond. James Bond. Bond, James Bond. It will allow us, we've got these Verizon cards, but yeah. it will allow us to plug these USB cards into it, up to six of them, and it bonds them together so we will use this to stream while we're driving down the back roads in Tennessee or wherever. Now the great thing about this device is that you don't have to have just one network's cards. You mm -hmm. can have multiple cards. You can have four cards, so you can be from all four different carriers if you want, yep. which is great. Now you do have to have one other thing. Ken configured a server that we have, you know, like in a data center. This is gonna take the signal and split it up between each of the cards, yep. but somewhere it has to get reassembled. Right. So it's going to get reassembled on our server that's in a data center, and from there it gets streamed to other places. So all right, well we've taken up too much of your time, but and we didn't even show you everything. I know this that was is only a like lot half of it. Here. So yeah. you guys know we travel a lot. We do all sorts of different events and stuff. This is our biggest event of the year in terms of equipment and uh, what we do for it, but. We have smaller, port, more portable sets, but this is like the, the ultimate geeky set that we ever take anywhere. Anyway, so be sure you're paying attention. At John Pose will be tweeting and doing videos from the road. YouTube.com slash TV. Also, Norm Flores, at Norm Flores, at Kim, at Tran, Kim Tran over there. K-I-E-N. T-R-A-N. And uh, make sure you're following all of them, and then Dave and I will be joining them via plane. For the for the uh, actual shows. Yeah. So. All right, we're out of here. I'm Callie. I'm John. Bye. See ya.